Hey guys, this is 125 Scooter Guy. What we have right here is a Dura battery out of my scooter. Recently, on two occasions, I've had a weak start on my scooter or a weak cranking, which led to a no start condition. I wasn't pleased, I was pretty pissed. I was pretty far from home and actually took the battery out. I brought it home, I put it on my charger, it charged. Um, then uh, it happened again so now i have to look at closer into the reason why it's happening so this is out of my scooter it's just a regular lead battery and the uh, first thing i did was uh i cleaned it all off let me put my uh, glasses on first okay so the first thing i did was i cleaned it all off with this brush some q-tips clean out the dust and whatnot the dirt and whatnot and i expected the battery carefully to see if there's any cracks Next thing I did was just a simple shake test. And usually these, these are filled with water, distilled water. And I noticed there's absolutely no jiggling. You don't hear any shaking. Either it's full to the max or it's empty. Now, a common reason or one of the most common reasons for batteries to die or fail is extreme heat. I had an extremely hot summer. I did a lot of riding this summer. And the water, it's, it's, the water, it's, the loss of water which makes these batteries fail so that's what i'm going to do next i cleaned off everything i'm going to pop open this cover right here and see if there is any uh water left in there so probably probably fat let's do with this here okay so probably just cover off right here again i do not suggest or condone anybody doing this if they do not feel safe or comfortable ensure your safety first you know put on your glasses wear your gloves if need be and uh follow all the safety steps necessary to do so i uh, i uh, i take no responsibility in what happens to your battery or whatnot this is my own personal va uh, video i mean uh, my own personal choice to do so at my own free will i'm doing this so i don't want you guys to do this if you don't feel comfortable just replace the battery and that will be that so yeah so so besides the no start situation my scooter has been running like a champ i actually want to make another video on what's been happening now since i've done that i've noticed that from takeoff if i gun it she wants to do wheelies i'll, I'll explain more of that later uh, in another video so here we go i'm shaking it and there's absolutely no water in there so i've lost all the water in my battery <laughs> i wish i had taken a look at this earlier so anyhow what i'm going to do is i am going to refill them with distilled water only distilled water not tap water guys not tap water only distilled water because it cleans out all the impurities inside the water and uh, yeah that's what you have to do you have to use distilled water so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to pour some in here i'm going to use a graduated short syringe so i know how much i put into each cell and yeah so, so i'm gonna start off with uh three and be careful not to splash okay so that's one in the first one I think I'll put two in each one rather than two now I'll make it three three in each one Okay, I'm going to look inside and see if the water is starting to cover the top of the cells. I think I may have forgotten to put... Yeah, so the water is now just covering the top of the cells. I think I may have not put three in this one. Yeah, I did. 
I'm just going to top them off, cover the tops of them. Yeah, so the heat is the number one reason why these batteries start to fail. Especially in hot summer, hot weather. That's what really makes them do this. So anyways, so my next step is, I'm going to turn on this multimeter. Uh, and, I'm and I'm going to check each of the voltages of each of the cells. So, red on positive. And so this should be like 2, 4... 6, 8, 10, 12. Something around there. 1.5 to about 2. Okay, so we got 2.1 there. 2.1. Alright. And here we got 3. Point, well, let's see. 3.5 7 and climbing. So, okay. Then we got uh, 5.7. Let's try it. Oh, 6.3. Okay. And we got 8, we should have 10 something, 12, there you go. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so, uh, yeah, so that's looking good. Those are positive remark uh, notes, uh, uh, numbers. Anyways, I'm going to put this all back together. So this is 125 Scooter Guy. If you guys found this video educational, hit, hit the like button. Yeah, give me a like. I'll accept that. Don't forget to drop a comment in the box if you found it was educational. And don't forget to share. Tell a friend. Tell a friend about 125 Scooter Guy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out of here. Take it easy, guys. Hi. I want to thank all my subscribers for watching. This is 125 Scooter Guy. And if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, there's no better time to do so than the present. Stay tuned more interesting scooter vlogs, easy how-to repair videos, and scooter product testing and reviews.